They're happy to be back on U.S. soil. That might be an understatement. Dozens of the people from a local church group who went on a pilgrimage to Israel are now home after war broke out in the country during their tour. WDAY News reporter Nick Broadway sat down with the travelers ref reflecting on their long journey to safety and faith deepened. It was a nonstop 50-hour journey trying to get out early after war broke out just a few dozen miles from their pilgrimage. Knowing how close we were to that and where we next, what's going to happen to us? Flights were nearly impossible to book. As soon as you'd find one and we'd pick it, by the time you go to pay for it, the flight was already gone and it was just happening so fast. During the scramble, people like Senator John Hoven and Governor Doug Burgum directly speaking with Father Phil Ackerman and working through the State Department to get the group out. Some of their friends at church offering them hope. By prayer, bring your request to God. Neighboring Trinity Elementary started long prayer sessions for the group, all happening as the more than 80 travelers got on a bus to cross the border into Jordan. They sent Father Ackerman this picture of the prayer. And it was a picture of him holding my picture, <laughs> saying he had just shared this with the bus, and he's like, you know, you're not going to believe this, but we were allowed to cross over into Jordan as your kids were praying. From Amman, the capital of Jordan, they secured several different pathways to the U.S., splitting into different groups, prioritizing those who needed to get home sooner. Assigning people that were needing to get home because of medication, or for us as priests to get back to serve our parishes. I felt like I was home just hearing the words that we were able to fly out. For Jeremy and Tammy Free, they had to fly from Jordan to Cairo to Montreal to Minneapolis, driving to Fargo from there. Father Ackerman's flight to Egypt showed their flight path, taking the long way around Israel instead of flying across trials that we did as part of the pilgrimage experience. Right. It, nothing's going to go perfect for a pilgrimage. It's about learning to walk with faith and trust in the midst of all the challenges. That's, and that's what we learned. When Joseph and Mary and their newly born uh, child, Joseph, had to flee into Egypt for safety, yeah. I thought about them. Now they're hoping to catch some rest soon, waiting for the rest of their friends to come home. Nick Broadway, WDAY News. The rest of the group all have flights back to the U.S. They're expected to